He made an appearance on The Voice, but it was a video of him cooking in his kitchen that's made him a superstar. We're going to talk more about Andrew Janakis after this. This episode of Connected with Kelly is sponsored by Pickers Vodka, proudly made in Nashville, Tennessee. So Pickers is a tribute to the musicians whose sounds fill the air in Music City. Pickers Vodka is distilled 11 times from non-GMO corn, and it's gluten-free. My new favorite is the Pickers Unplugged Vodka Soda. They're in cans. They are only 96 calories, zero carbs, great flavors. You need to give them a try. Visit PickersVodka.com to find out more or to order online. Welcome to Connected with Kelly. Today, we're talking to Andrew Janakis. Now, you might remember him from The Voice, but it was really a video that his now wife shot of him singing in the kitchen that went viral on TikTok. And now he has a record deal, is releasing an EP, and has a song on country radio. All the things he never imagined would ever happen. I had a chance to catch up with him in person, which was super exciting, and talk more about what's been happening. So let's get connected with Andrew Janakis. So Andrew, you have just exploded, but it's not like this overnight success. Never is, right? Like how many years has this journey been happening? Um, truthfully, I, I, I don't want to say it was like an overnight success, but, uh, you know, I, I started my journey on the voice, which was just a little over two years ago, almost, well, almost really like probably three years ago now. Um, I've always sang, yeah. I've, I've sang my whole life, but I've, I never thought I would have the opportunity to get to, you know, be an artist, like an actual artist. And, um, and especially get to have a song on the radio. Um, so I don't want to say it was overnight, but it, it, it all did happen very, very quickly, um, which I'm extremely like grateful for. And it's, it's hard to, um, to kind of explain it really, because it's ev every single musician that I know busts their butt day in and day out. We, we all do. We all are chasing the same dream. And, um, yeah, I, I feel very, I'm very humbled by what happened and how everything happened. Well, and I, I want to back up because you said you didn't think that you would ever be an artist. I mean, there had to be some inkling in the back of your brain. If you're being really truthful with yourself, did you have like this little nothing? Really? I, uh, I, I honestly, for a lot of, I, I oh man, we're going to get deep here for a second. Do it. I love that. For a, for a lot of my life, I was, I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know where I was going. Um, and then I met this girl, she was now my wife, and she had her son, who's now my son, um, and they they just, she, one, she believed in me, which I didn't have many, I don't want to say I didn't have many people do that in my life, but I didn't have many people do that in my life. Um and two, they gave me a purpose to want to better myself as a person. Um, and uh, she heard me sing one time and she was like, hey, you're really good. And I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, do you not know that? And I was like, I mean, I'll just, I'll just like to sing. And yeah. Um, and then I did the voice and the voice was the first time I'd ever performed on a stage in my life. So it just took somebody believing in you. Yeah. What does that feel like now? Oh man. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it, I mean, it's amazing. I, I, I hope and wish that everybody can have that person because somebody loves you. <laughs> Boom. Dropped a song title. Good Lord. The media training's kicking in. That was really, that was good. That was good. We were get we were like on the edge. You were getting really deep and then you had to pull back and throw in some humor. I'm not, see, I'm the Barbara Walters of country music. Like if I can make you cry, that's, that's my whole goal here. 
Now tell me about adopting your little boy because you just mentioned him and I saw it on social media. I was crying. I just oh, met you and I was crying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this journey of, of having him and you, you've been in his life since he was one. So he's been your boy. Yeah, he's my baby. Yeah, he's he. Um, and it's it's funny too, kind of like how it's transitioned over the years, because when he first met me, he couldn't even really speak. But when he first started like speaking he called me Andrew um and because he he only would know me by Andrew because we me and his mom had just started dating and um <clears throat> he was uh, he was little and then I mean f six months down the road it was Andrew daddy and then it was Andrew daddy for a while and then it was Andrew just kind of like went away and it's just been it's just been daddy for uh, as two two years two and a half years longer than that probably even i mean basically since he, he was he he's my son like and people if if you saw us together like people are like he looks just like you oh my gosh <laughs> and i'm like that's funny because he's not my blood <laughs> at all but uh but lv lv shane said it best man he ain't my blood but he's my boy and he is a hundred percent. He's my baby and he forever will be. He knows that. I mean, and he's hilarious. He runs around the house in dinosaur, everything, just absolutely screaming my songs at the top of his lungs. Every one of them. Really? What's his favorite? Does he have a favorite? Walking shoes off my first EP. He's any, as soon as we get in the car, mommy, what play? walking shoes please okay done. we got it done and done we're coming up we got father's day around the corner and as you said he's always been your boy but now it's legal and you got, you have it on paper yeah he's literally a janakis now like it's crazy what is that gonna mean this father's day for you does it feel different you think I, I, honestly no because he he feels like my blood like even if you saw like the relationship that he has with like my dad um and and my mom but like it's just yeah it's something that you legitimately have to like witness it's it's beautiful um i my my when i told my parents that i was dating someone with a kid they were both kind of like okay um are you sure you want that type of responsibility. Big responsibility. And, yes. Um, once my dad met him for the first time, it was like done. So done, 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 done. He, he did the same thing I did. He just fell completely head over heels in love with the little kid, man. He, anybody that meets him ends up falling for him. He's, he's hilarious. And he just got this, he just started this new thing. I don't know where he got it, but he, any, any time, he does anything now and he asks you a question. He does like the, the, eye, the eyebrow raise. And I said, where did you learn that? And he goes, and just like shoulder, like shoulder shrug. He's like, I don't know. And I was like, what? I was like, where do you do that? And he was like, looked around to see if my wife was there. He goes to the ladies. And I was like, excuse me. It. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Look. Yeah. Keep an eye on that one. Keep an eye on that one. All right, let's talk TikTok. Uh, how did this all start with you cooking, singing? All of a sudden, I'm watching James Corden duet with you. That was crazy. What? Was crazy. Okay, how how did that even begin? The James Corden thing. Well, let's start with TikTok and how you like were cooking. Okay. Was, was the cooking thing like you were just cooking and yeah, no, your wife went came in and okay. I was cooking dinner um and I had just got the mastered version of Gone Too Soon back from my producer. So I looked at my son, I was like, "Bubba, go upstairs, get daddy's speaker and bring it down here." Um so he brought it down and I just started listening to the song and I was just cooking. And then she like a little light bulb went off and she was like, I'm going to record this, put it on TikTok. And I was like, uh, I was kind of skeptical on it, honestly, because it was the first original that we were going to post on TikTok. Okay. But, um, 
went ahead and enrolled with it. And I mean, it was very like I was I honestly didn't even know she was filming the first time that she did it. She did it without me knowing. And then she was like, hey, I'm going to film this and put it on TikTok. So I was like, "Okay, that's the we could do this. We'll see what happens. And the next morning I woke up and rolled over. She didn't even go to bed like she legitimately did not go to sleep. She stayed up the entire night and watched it and like commented back to people and like it was crazy yeah. and it, it helped i mean i on, i genuinely think she helped the algorithm she commented back to ten thousand people yeah absolutely she helped the algorithm like, yes like yes. It, it i mean it had to it, probably it was crazy like she's she was a nut <laughs> but she yeah she was she was a she was a social media guru and i woke up and she just kind of like flashed the phone at me and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And it just continued to, to just grow and, and just all. And then I know that's when I noticed it was way bigger than I was when Instagram started going up, TikTok went up, Spotify went up, Apple music went up, streams went up, YouTube went up at all, everything around the board went up. And, um, and I was like, okay this is gonna, this is getting a little crazy. And now I'm sitting here talking to you. Record deal. The team is in place. Yeah. All the things are happening. Duet with Song James Corden. Like, what? Crazy. Living the dream. And the James Corden thing, I didn't even know that was like a thing. I didn't even know that was happening. Um, he just did it. And uh, I went on to my TikTok. And opened up my TikTok, and it was the first thing that we saw. And I was like, what the heck? And it, then he followed me on TikTok. He followed me on Instagram. And I, of course, followed him back. Carpool karaoke, anytime, James, please. Um, <laughs> and and the thing that I thought was really cool, and I it, it like a lot of things continue to humble me. And... I look at things a little bit differently and that was the he that the one that he did duet and gone too soon was the first TikTok that he actually personally made. Everything else would had been a promo for the show. That was the first one that he had actually ever made himself like duetting someone or doing anything. Everything else on his TikTok was a promo. So I've that I've really took I was like that's really cool. Like I, I took that to heart. That's very cool. Are you doing a show soon? I hope so. Okay. If James hears this, maybe he'll bring me because he sees that I'm sad. <laughs> <sighs> so let's talk about other duets that you would love to do in the future. Like, who's your dream duet partner? Since you already checked that one off the box. Uh, well, I think I think it's probably going to end up happening, and it's Brad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out when that happens. You said that he's been a huge influence on your life. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's like one of my biggest influencers for, for music. Like his, his music personally got me through a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot, a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of different times, good times, bad times, emotional times, sad times. It was, yeah. Brad was, Brad was always there for me, man. What's your favorite Brad song? Now he didn't have to be just because it like every time I hear it, I ball my eyes out. Now I didn't before, but dang it. I do now. Um, but before that, not many people know this song and it's just a funny, it's just a funny song. And I used to play it when I was in high school, but a toilet seat song, you know, that one, I don't, but now I have to listen to it. Yep. Do you want to sing some of it? It's a, uh, she's not into flowers or getting big expensive gifts. Says she don't want jewelry, doesn't need another dress. If I want to show her how much I adore her, then the best way that I found is to make sure when I'm finished, I put that toilet seat down. <laughs> Brad Paisley has such a way with words. <laughs> all right. Gone Too Soon is at radio right now. I mean, you're you're doing all of the things. 
what's the dream, man? What's the what's the next dream? Do you have a vision board? I'm I'm looking at you now. I'm like, okay, what what is gonna come? It's all happening. It's it's all happening really fast. And I mean, to to be honest, like I'm living part of my dream right now. Like I get to write music every single day. I get to hang out with amazing songwriters and musicians and um and then I get to perform my music to people and I, you know we're just going to just going to continue to ride this wave while I can while it's here and just write as much good music as I can. It's perfect. Thank you. It's good to talk to you. Thank you for having me. Andrew Janakis. I mean, how cool is he? The song is called Gone Too Soon. He has an EP out. He is now touring all over the place. I mean, who knew all of this would blow up in the middle of a pandemic? Pretty cool for him. I want you to tell me your favorite TikTok sensation. If there's somebody that you're listening to right now because of TikTok, tell me about it below in the comments. Guys, I would love it if you would subscribe and also hit that bell. That way you will be notified whenever there are new episodes, which happen each and every week. So until then, make sure you're staying connected with all of the people and things you love the most. Bye.